Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is the biggest ever do it, the Patina Collective. Another day in the kingdom of Boca Raton with my brother, Daniel. Yeah, so fortunately, we've been able to get blessed with F1 tickets um, down here in Miami. But it's not really in Miami, it's in Hollywood, Florida. Okay. So uh, that's where the F1 race takes place. And we got to check it out and experience it. And it was definitely different. It was cool. We whipped uh, the E63S wagon out. Yes, of course, the E63 wagon, the beast. We found perfect parking in the projects. Uh, we wanted to keep it hood, so we went straight to the hood. And uh, we told some one of our homies in the hood, yo, you know what I mean? Yo, Ese, hook us up. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, right here, man, park mm -hmm. right here. So we parked right next to the W210 wagon. So we had the W210 wagon, and we pulled and reversed the E63 Green Goblin Rentec psychotic build right next to it. Very, very nice parking, very VIP, felt great. And I don't know, Vigo, what, what do you think? But my oh. thought was that it was set up last year, they went more high-end with uh, the, the food they had there and different things they had there. They had a bunch of like higher-end restaurants and stuff. This year, they had like hot dogs, uh, just like uh, kettle corn. It looked mm. like fair, it was like a fair environment, fair mm. food. When I think F1, if I'm coming from somewhere like Monaco or France and I'm visiting here for F1, right. I'm thinking caviar, pate, poisson. Mm. Uh -huh, right? It's poisson. Poisson, yeah. Les poissons, les poissons, how I love les poissons. It's a very American event. Yeah, it was cool. I mean, we had a good time. We ran into a couple guys we knew. Uh, that was shot, most important. Shout out to our guy, Elo. Uh, we also ran into uh, someone, a close friend now to the Patina Collective, but at the time, this was our introduction to him. Our guy, Wayne from PCNY. Shout out to Wayne, great guy. Big up, Wayne. Wayne, we know uh, through our boy slang out there in Cali. Yeah. Uh, and so we're happy to make the connection happen. He's big in the car game. So uh, Wayne, very nice, hospitable guy. He had a booth uh, at uh, this uh, tequila spot. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Herodur right. Tequila had yeah. a sky deck, and Wayne took over the whole sky deck. So yeah, it was nice. Definitely, the boats aren't worth spending the money on, but whatever Wayne spent, man, those racks he poured out for that joint, that was fun. Yeah, it was fun. We we're showing him stuff on the phone. We were uh, showing him, you know, the deals, the sketchy deals we make in the Middle East, blowing his mind. He was shocked. He was, and this guy's been around. I mean, this guy's from New York. He was there when these things were going down when this whole culture was happening in real time. So for him, it's very nostalgic, even more than me and Daniel, you know what I mean? Um, so great guy, knows a lot about the culture, knows a lot about Benz's, but a lot of things he doesn't know and a lot of things we put him onto and that's what was really shocking him and blowing his mind that day. <clears throat> Recently, he just did a ride out, uh, shout out to everybody that showed up to the ride out in New York. Big, big, big ride out for the old school Europeans and that was cool, but I didn't see much Benz's, so guys, Patina boys, I mean, mount up. We gotta, we gotta show up. We gotta show out. We gotta pull up in numbers and show our power and bring back this uh, vintage Benz era. I mean, that we all uh, dream of. So shout out to Lewis Hamilton. I mean, we seen he recently did a photo shoot with a 500E W124 under some palm trees. Um, we feel like hopefully he's inspired or whoever told him to do that was inspired by the Patina boys because that's what we do put these benders on the palm trees. He's a patina boy without even knowing it. So shout out to the whole Mercedes um, race team, F1, everyone that was involved. Great event, great atmosphere, great ambiance. We loved it, we had a great time. So the next day, our guy from PCNY, Wayne, pulled up in style, came to see the collection, we blew his mind, you know? In the kingdom right now, we got a special guest coming. We met up with our guy yesterday at F1, our guy Wayne from PCNY. I mean, pulling up right now to the showroom. Deep in the culture, deep in the game, New York City on lock. He's working at Miami on lock. And so just happy to partner up with him and come check out the collection. Yes, sir. And talk, chop it up for a little bit, you know? We got some special plans for the culture. We're gonna do some special things for the culture, guys. And all you people out there in New York with some special benzes, get ready. You know what's coming. Oh my lord. Wow. Biggie said try to push some on they made them yet, but he didn't know. They already made them. This was he didn't out. know. He did not he know. know. Royal family of Brunei. Oh, I mean exclusive this, this engine. Money. Exclusive this engine for it. Just made oh, for them. This is big money. Yeah. This is big money right here. Fine In money. Germany, they put it at the museum on display, just the motor. I mean the 7.3. You always go stand around it and stare at the 
AMG C six six pipe, yes. Six oh pipes in the back. God, six this is the car. Six this pipes in the back. This might be my favorite of the wall. Because everything's just so crazy. W one sixteen lights, W one twenty three grill on a G Wagon, made for Ivan Lindo, the tennis player. We're doing a documentary on this car right now, we're making for Carl. This is made by Benz? Made yeah, by AMG. AMG, look. Yeah. Look. <sighs> Yeah, it's Another quick special S72 wide body, nothing to ask, not when you're better. Oh, AMG. AMG. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really, that's really the same with one. This is the, 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 the culture. Yeah, culture. culture. No, for the culture. For the culture. culture. We really brought back, you know, an tremendously an era of yeah. appreciation of people didn't really care and to really just. Oh, listen, let me say something for the camera. Listen. What you got? I know a lot of guys, I see them come in here, they talk about the cars and, oh, this is dope. Oh my God, it's so special. But nah, no one gives the energy that these cars deserve. These cars are fucking stupid. To have all these cars that put together the way these are in one place, it's not like, oh, this is so cool. No, it's not fucking cool. It's fucking stupid. That's so on fleek. It's not normal. People don't know what they're fucking looking at. They don't understand what it takes to have these cars, have the brain, the mind to find these fucking cars because these are all unicorns, all of them. I don't give a fuck. They're all out of control. This is, please put Vic. Put the fucking museum together. It's Done. not fair to you not having people to Done. come in here for the culture. Done. For, the culture. for the culture. You sure. really put this, nobody in the world, in the world, they don't, there's nothing. Mercedes is gonna have to cut you a paycheck soon Facts. for what you're doing for Mercedes. We already know. Legitimately, they already know. This is bananas. This is not normal. It's overwhelming. You really need these cars. You really shouldn't even show all these cars at the same time. It's just too much. Yeah. It's just too, you can't, it's just overload. For you, just for you. Thank, you. thank you, thank you so much. It's just to be one at a time, one a month. This is just, <laughs> listen guys, follow them, but understand when the museum comes, make sure you get down here for the museum. Um, wow, I'm excited for the museum. Yes, bro. I'm excited. Of course. D, Perfect. listen, thank you for the invite. It's coming. The museum. It's gonna come. I can't it's wait. It's coming next year. You're going to open a party? Yeah. Next year? It's just January. It's going to be a right. month. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want Christmas. this to be right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Greatness yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. takes time, right? Greatness takes time. But it's okay. How many more cars you have between now and then? Nah, nah, you have only, you've only seen 10% of what we got, bro. Only got this is 10% of what we have. 10%. This is 30 cars, there's 300. So just think about that. Try to conceptualize. And they're all unicorns. Try to conceptualize. 300. Yeah. I can't conceptualize that. Right. It's not fair. It's not. It is fair. Look, God bless you. We haven't even seen about thirty percent of the cars that we own. Yeah. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something. They probably won't. I won't say what it is. He showed me something yesterday that I can't even say what this, the conversation was. It wasn't good for someone. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and he showed me what they're getting, and I almost fell on the floor. Okay. I can't explain it. That's unexplainable. You're gonna fall on the floor. Yeah, I've Why not be more horrible? Yeah. 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 I hope that car makes it. Patina boys, PCY in the house, Boca. Yeah. I'll be making more runs up here continuously. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to do a lot of stuff with these guys because these yeah. guys have like my blood inside them. The they kingdom of Boca blood. Raton. The yeah. kingdom now. King, yeah, this, the this Mecca. Is, this, this is this is out of control. What's up, guys? Right now in the ABC exclusive SEC straight from Japan, baby blue. We're being followed right now by our guys from PCNY, back to back Ferraris. My guy Wayne doing it big. Shout out to New York. I mean, and we're just headed to the beach right now to ride out and show him around and show him how the Piscina Boys do it. Alright guys, another day moving around the kingdom, Boca Raton with the homies, you know what I mean? Shout out to my boy, my dog, Wayne for PCNY. Came down here from Miami to show love to the boys. I mean, he has to head back to New York tomorrow, but we're working on some things for the future. So shout out to him. We uh, linked up with him at F1 yesterday. He showed us mad love, mad courtesy. So we're showing mad love to him. I mean, shout out to my dog Wayne and everybody in New York. Another day in the kingdom, guys. You already know what it is. Always something special, always something fun for the boys. So stay tuned. Patina boys forever. Let's go. I think what he was, what he said over and over again was that he can't wait for the museum to open so we could have these cars spread out in the right way because he was just so shocked taking it all in. So, we love getting that reaction from people and we get it all the time for people who we like meet or, or introduce to us slowly. But Wayne, we kind of let him in pretty quick and for a guy that's so thorough in the car game and seen so much, that kind of reaction made us feel really good about what we're doing even more. A guy like Wayne who's, who came up in the New York car scene for, for a very long time and seen many eras and he's seen this era firsthand and he knew and knows to this day how rare it was to see one of these cars to have all of them in one place. And he didn't see the stadium. This was just the showroom. This is just 30 cars, 10% of what we have in the collection. 
and it is very, very, very overwhelming. I think it was a well-deserved uh, reaction to the collection, honestly. Yeah, you know, for him, he's always welcome here. He's a great team, showing love, so, yeah. you know, uh, big shout out to PCNY, big shout out to Wayne and the team out there. Killing it. Out there doing good things, doing rallies in New York. They're feeding the homeless, which I think is amazing out in New York amazing. City, helping people out there, you know, uh, working with the mayor out there to do great things for the city, so we're really happy you know, that we get to know him as a guy and hopefully we do something cool with him soon. Yeah, he's a funny guy, fun guy to be around, great energy. Uh, we love it, we love cracking jokes just like he does. And we had a great time together. Looking forward to working with PCNY and looking forward to bringing these cars to the East Coast, hopefully doing a ride out. So let's talk about it guys, if you're a PCNY fan. And if you're not, tap in to PCNY on social media. All things hip. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. The biggest ever do it, the Patina Collective. You already know another day in the kingdom right now. We're doing some special things leading up to the June 3rd Rick Ross car show at the Promised Land in Atlanta. Shout out to everybody heading out there. We will be there with six cars, so definitely pull up and show love to the Patina boys. Today, it's a Monday. Uh, we're doing what we usually do on a Monday, pulling cars out to do some reels for the Instagram and also getting an update with Wesley on all the cars he's been fixing. Julio's not in today. He's actually sick, but he will be back tomorrow. He's finishing up the red Koenig right now. He just finished up the yellow SL. Whole interior is redone. Paint's all polished up. Car looks brand new. Next, we're sending him the wide body SL and the rally car. And lastly, we will be sending him the limousine in preparations for the Rick Ross car show. Right now, we're about to take out this S72 wide body C140. Very, very few ever made. One of maybe none. So let's go right now, straight out to the beach. Boca Raton boys, let's pull these cars out. Let's go crazy. S72, man, it's a different feeling in this car. Wide body, no one got it. It's never been done before. So I love this car. One of my favorite cars in the collection, of course. S72 C140, super smooth. We will be doing a deep dive on this car very soon, so stay tuned, guys. We will be doing a deep dive like we did on the SL 7.3S Brabus. Let's go. All right, so today we did the brakes all the way around on this car. Uh, rotors and pads. Uh, two of the brake caliber bolts in the front right were stripped. So I had to re-tap them and uh, get new bolts for them. Uh, that was quite interesting. It was very difficult. I spent about two hours doing that. And uh, now we're gonna get the muffler fixed higher up to the car so it's not dangling. If you look underneath, I have the jack supporting the exhaust. Oh, I see. Underneath, so that way I can try to bring it up get it where I want it. So yeah, just did rotors right now, rotors and pads. Uh, this is the only one that's showing right now. Uh, Got all the corrosion, then I have to get the corrosion off of the back of the wheel, off the wheel hub, so it looks better. Cool. So it's just a little maintenance. Yeah! Okay. Brakes were squealing like crazy, kind of like the purple car, so. Yeah. I literally had to make my own bolts. Really? Yeah. So like, I took bolts from this old car, so I took some bolts from this car that was on the rear suspension, that like when we redid it, right. we replaced those bolts, they were longer. But they're brake caliper bolts, so they have to be able to snug up against the caliper. So they have to be thick where the caliper touches. True. And then it has to go through. So they have to be a little longer. Well, I had to cut them down because they were longer. Oh, they were car. a little longer. Too. Yeah, so I had to cut them down. Then I had to re-tap them and you know get the threads going Damn. and everything. Mad scientist over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you. Let me show you the bolt that actually fixed it. So this is the bolt I had to make as my like tap <laughs> because the other one didn't work properly. And uh, this is one of the bolts. They're pretty rough. So you can see all the threads on it. Threads are really just, they're gone. Right, right. They're gone. It's a longer gap, and I don't have any of the correct uh, exhaust O-rings mm. for that. So I'm gonna see what I can do. Cause in the center, I mean, it just drops. Somebody, this is like a hacked up exhaust. Right. You know, there's like three different exhausts on this car. You wanna see what it looks like if I lower it? Let's see it. Oh man, it's bad. You ready? Yeah. See how well the exhaust goes? Oh, yeah. So I gotta pick that up. I got it attached right here. You see right here, I got these on there. Right. Which are right. But, um. So it's just somehow figuring out how to. I have to... the transmission. So, there's an exhaust bracket at the transmission. And the U clamps that are on there are so rusted, you can't take them out and adjust them. Usually you can adjust it and like, you know, clock it better so it picks it up. 
But I mean, honestly, this old Rusty's probably gonna have to get cut off. So I just gotta bring this back end up and then uh, if, when he wants to get an exhaust, we'll get an exhaust. AMG Pentas, 1,500 pounds, no. Pricey. Self-leveling springs. That's number 12, yes. 12, you got down, okay. Yeah. So two lowering springs, don't you need four for a car? No, because if you have self-leveling, you don't have springs in the, the front. You use, use the Any springs of interest or no? Depending on the brand, if they're like H&Rs, no. Ibox. Ibox, no. AMG, then two AMG. you can buy them on a Wolfpack. Two AMG self-level Mercedes 126? Yes. Everything is AMG 15? Yeah. Okay. For OZ racing this? Yeah, they're one piece. Uh, for 750 for yeah. Yeah, that's a good deal. Uh, the car stops nicely. I think it's for a test drive. Uh, everything, the brakes, no squealing. Uh, Are you going to come get it? Sure. I'll come grab it in a bit. Okay, it's ready. Unexpected stuff happened. Yeah. Uh, well. Front two brake caliper bolts were stripped and cross threaded. So it took me like a few hours to clean them out and correct them and get bolts for them. And that was a good amount of work. <laughs> That's about it though? Everything's good? No, everything else was good. Everything and he's in alignment. You saw yes, that? I saw the steering wheel. That's about it. Uh, I didn't ask because I really don't have the machine. No, that's it. Yeah, I can do it by eye, but it's like, Good. It's so much better. Oh, good. Right I really right. enjoyed it. I thought it would be a little off, but no, it felt more at home than the left side. Oh, I love it. Me too. I, I, I drive right-hand drive cars 90% of the time. Yeah, it's it's nice. But in the UK and in Australia, when you're driving on the other side, it's a whole different story. But... Yeah. It's... All right, man. Thank you. There's no noises or anything. Brakes work good, so uh, let me know if anything, okay? Thank you, bro. We're back in the rally car, guys. Another day to paint a collective. Things go wrong, but we got to make them right. Shout out to Wesley. Shout out to all my Patina family around the world, man. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, guys. You already know what it is. The biggest ever do it in the kingdom. And this is the stadium right here, the greatest place on earth. Today, a very, very, very special day, man. We're gonna meet a very special person, someone that's uh, a big uh, follower of the Patina Collective and someone who's been down and is gonna be inducted into the Patina family today. It is our guy, Ramit, coming straight out of New Jersey. I mean, he won the CLK, I mean, the CLK 55 for charity. He actually won it, so shout out to him. And he's coming today to pick it up, man. And he's gonna be meeting the Patina boys for the first time and showing love. We're also gonna be moving a lot of cars around today. We have a lot of cars that are gonna be leaving, a lot of cars that are coming in. So we gotta make sure we get it right. So shout out to everybody out there. Patina boys, let's do it. There he is, guys, in the W220 S55 Pullman. You've never seen it. And it belongs to someone real special. We're gonna hear the story. Let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? Yo. Patina boys, Bravish boys. Ramit, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Excited welcome, to be here. Welcome, welcome to the kingdom, man. It's the Mecca, the Mecca, Mecca Mercedes Benz. I know you've seen it on the channel, but it's uh, in person. In person, it's totally different. Totally different. So, totally different. our guy right here, uh, Benz collector himself, he has a few Pullmans. Uh, he's gonna tell us more about this very special S55 right here. He collects cars. He has an SLR. I mean, and he loves Benzes, and he's a patina boy just like y'all, and he's watching all the time. So I want to give a big shout out to my guy, Ramit, right here, inducting him into the Patina Hall of Fame. And here we go, the first car to go outside of the Patina Collective. Shout out to our people out there that's uh, keeping on watching every every week, and uh, we're going to keep going with the Patina Boys, and the museum is coming soon. Let's go. So we got this 600 SGS right here. This actually belonged to uh, the Sheikh of Marbella. This car came out of Marbella, Spain. And you can see the whole interior is all redone. Wow. I know you like special things. You can check out, get in the back. It's a little collapsed right now. It has the hydraulics. Yeah. But we haven't driven it, so that's what happens. But you can get in it. Go ahead. Wow. You know what I mean? This takes you back to a different time. You feel me? It has some luxury. Tint. With the flowers. Check the flowers out. Yeah, you see the, the flowers on the side. Check these flowers out with the vase? Come on. You got the flowers. That's a you different even, place. You even got, you know, <laughs> the cups right here at the bottom, the crystalware. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yep. So, Oh my god. Just check out the Habibi DVD. Baby. The Habibi DVD. I mean, we got them all. So. <laughs> what do you think? You've ever seen, you ever seen green I've wood? I've never seen a mint green interior like this. With you the wood? Come this on. Dezino wood? Oh my god. 
see like you've been a lot of places, you've seen a lot of opulence, but you don't see stuff like this every day. That's no, what the Pina Country is about. Mm -hmm. This makes you feel special. Yeah, because you feel like you're in Dubai. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. On some fly shit. Yeah, it makes it this hits different. Yeah, the aqua, the aqua, <laughs> aqua blue. Guys, newest addition to the Patina family, our guy Manny right here. I mean, he's been helping Daniel for many years on his boat. And uh, now he's gonna be navigating the bend seas, doing the different things, but he's gonna be doing something very special for the Patina Collective. Coming up, coming up. Yeah, something that we need very, very, very dearly and we need it badly and it's picking up these cars. So we picked up a very, very special vehicle that only he's gonna be manning. And that's why we call him Manny, <laughs> I mean? And he's gonna be moving around these streets different. So whenever you see that truck pulling up, there's only one person that can be behind the wheel. And that's our guy right here. So I'd like to welcome to the Patina family. And you. you guys will be seeing them on the channel. So get familiar and give a shout out to, to Manny in the comments. So guys, a lot of cars have been moving around lately. We've been getting cars serviced, getting cars ready uh, to uh, give away and uh, release to the, to the public. Uh, obviously nothing's still for sale, guys. It's still nothing for sale. Over 300 special unicorns in the collection. But a lot of cars that came that don't make sense, that are not Mercedes, that are broken beyond repair. So we gotta let certain things go. Cars become part cars, cars become, um, you know, donation cars. So we're trying to figure it out right now while we uh, rummage through all these Benzes. But first things first today, we got to move a few cars around, starting with this Brabus K8 right here that's uh, currently right now being offered to the public. Another car that's not going to make it to the museum. We are curating the cars for the museum collection. Only the rarest of the rarest and the best of the best are going to make it. Tina. So just how Vin Wiki does car stories, my buddy Santosh has a channel, Horsepower Cartel, over in India. Nice. And he made me do some car stories with him. Mm. And we had some situations. I was transporting a live shark in a Maserati and all the water started splashing all over the car, over the seats, ruining oh the leather. Uh, if you want to see that video, <laughs> check out his channel. Check out that video. We're going to link it right here. And uh, shout out to everybody out there doing the YouTube stuff. A lot of followers from us in India. So shout out to India, Pakistan, all the people out there, brown boys. So, tell me more. So, I love Pullman's, yeah. right? I had a blue one. I had a regular S500. So then I started doing research into like what Pullman's were available. So this one was actually being sold as an S500 regular Pullman. But I had the S500 regular Pullman. In the images online, I saw the AMG badging in the engine bay. So I was like, oh, this is a little different from a regular S500. I went on last of put the decoder, got the engine code. I look it up, it's a 55 AMG engine. Wow. So then I was like, wow, this car is special. And the other thing, it has the full wood trim from a 600. Mm -hmm. This is a 500 base. Uh, and the car ended up belonging to Tina Turner. Wow. She special ordered the car. It was her car in Vegas. She used for her shows, going to her like residencies and different uh, resorts. And she used the car. It was sold to another gentleman in North Carolina. And I bought it with 21,000 miles. Wow. So it was pampered, pampered. How many miles on? 24,000. Oh, I drove it to North Carolina and back. 800 miles each way, something like that. Yeah. So and it decodes as a Pullman, as a factory Pullman. Oh. It's not made. Oh, let's show them the glasses real quick. It's so made by Mercedes. Yep, there's the fridge. It's <laughs> like the v -box. Look, Pullman branded glasses. Yeah. It says Pullman on and the champagne flutes are behind it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, put it right here. They, they go perfect in here. Boom. Yep. Those are the champagne flutes. Alright guys, so this is how you did it in the early 2000s when you were doing a big like Tina Turner. Rest in peace, Tina Turner. Only logical. So, so Roman is a guy who's been following the Tina Collector for a while and he was actually, uh, he's seen the CLK go up for auction for charity and he snatched it up and then when he won it, he got in contact with us and let us know that he owns several Pullmans, different things, very interesting cars. So he got this car shipped down from New Jersey with his jersey plates on it. Very cool guy, very, very dope car. Belonged to Tina Turner, factory made S55 Pullman. Basically, they came in a couple configurations. There was two, two, two seater where all the seats face forward. Yeah. This is the, I think they call it vis seating or something like that, facing each other. Uh, my previous one didn't have the center console with the tables and armrests. That was called the AMG Multimedia Package. That alone was a $30,000 option oh. in 2001 to get the Alpine system, upgraded speaker system, TVs, fax machine. That was all done by AMG. And what was crazy, the cars were made by AMG in the AMG factory. This is a certified full AMG, but it's a luxury cruiser. But you can get behind the wheel, S55, pound it, has power. Amazing, amazing so, car. 
I got out here, Robin, he knows you know, about the fire things in life. You can see he's rocking the gazelles on his face. <laughs> I mean, that's what we do, 80s eyewear. No, you want to see something, okay? All right, let's see. This, this watch, uh -huh. okay? 400,000. Really? But you know why? why? It only came brand new with an SLR McLaren. It's an oh. SLR McLaren tag. Uh, no way. Not available for purchase. You can only get it, with, only get it with SLR. So it's 15,000 extra if you want the watch. Right. If the guy's not keeping the watch when he sells it, says not. <laughs> so SLR boys out there, make sure you have your watch. If not, you're not really an SLR. Yeah. I had the SLR, I didn't have the watch. There you like go. A poser. So now you got it. <laughs> so let me go and get the but you have the Pullman that no SLR guy can have. Yeah. My goal, my fantasy, is to get a trailer hitch on here and tow the SLR and take this thing to Vegas. Wow. That would be insane. That would be insane. I'm a big poker player. Amazing. So that, I just want to go to the casino and I pull up with my limo and my SLR behind it. Yeah, and then People that's where she had it. Huh? That's where she had it. She had it in Vegas, Tina Turner. Yeah, it needs to, it belongs in Vegas. It's a partial return. So you should buy a home in Vegas and leave it. There. Honestly, the car belongs in Miami. We had so much it's got, it's too much, yeah. It's so worth it. Well, then, you know, you know what to do. When the museum opens, you can store it there. Of course. And then whenever you come to Bro, Miami, you can have That's it. why I brought it. This belongs yeah. in your museum. This is one of the great things about having this museum, guys. We bought every car under the sun. We've proven that we want to buy. We're not stopping. We're always buying. But the great luxury about having the museum is we don't have to buy everything. Our friend Robin right here has special cars, like this car, like the SLR, things that we might not have in the collection yet. We might not need to purchase because he could just come, put yeah. it on display for you guys, and then when he comes around, he can come whip it. Uh, we'd love to do a video on it, you know what I mean? That's another thing we could do too, is it's all about documenting these cars as a whole, not just our personal collection, but everything that's out there. We can't own every single car, it's physically impossible, but we want to be uh, the guys documenting and showcasing these cars to the world. So stay tuned, to the Patina Collective, always bringing special unicorns to the channel, and shout out to our guy Raman, and congratulations on the CLK 55. So